All right, hey everyone, my name is Osama and today I'll be doing an interesting challenge. In five minutes, I'll be explaining how a nuclear reactor works. Why am I doing this challenge? Well, nuclear reactors are seen as these complex devices which people just don't understand. And I'm gonna simplify how a reactor works in five minutes. So let's get started now. All right, so the purpose of a nuclear reactor is basically to boil water, create steam, spin turbines, and create huge amounts of clean energy. And a reactor pressure vessel is where the nuclear reaction starts. It's the heart of a nuclear reactor and it's similar to a kettle, okay? Just like a kettle, a reactor pressure vessels have different, different designs, but overall they have the same way in which they function, okay? You have fuel, which uh, similar to gasoline powered car, which creates a combustion reaction or lithium, which is used in electric cars. The fuel here is a fuel called uranium. It's mined in the ground and two most important isotopes in uranium are U-235 and U-238. And U-235 is the isotope that fissions, whereas U-238 is the fertile isotope. And there is a big difference between fuel grade uranium and weapons grade uranium if you're interested in knowing. Reactor grade enrichment and enrichment is for U-235 since it's much less in nature, it's around three to 5%, whereas weapons grade uranium enrichment uh, needs to be at a percent of 85% or greater. So there's a huge difference between those two. It's shaped in the form of pellets, which, um, which are then used to create either these large rods, okay, fuel rods or bundles. Now these bundles and rods boil water in that pressure vessel, okay? And in turn, this hot water, once it's heated to hundreds of degrees Celsius, is then used in steam generators, which are these massive metal-like devices which produce steam. This steam goes to turbines, which eventually, just like a windmill, is using wind energy to create energy. It They spin very, very fast and create that electricity, which powers our homes. Now, how does the control systems work in a nuclear reactor? So just like a car has an accelerator and a brake, which are the safety systems in that vehicle, what is the accelerator and brake in a nuclear reactor? Now, there's two main ways to control a nuclear reaction. One is control rods, okay, which are made out of this metal called cadmium. Control rods go in and out of a reactor. It's both a brake and a accelerator in one because if you wanna shut down the reaction, you push the control rods all the way down through. And if you wanna start up the reaction, you pull the control rod slowly up. So you can control the power by shifting around the control rod position. And what these rods do is they, they absorb neutrons and neutrons are basically like a spark for combustion reaction, okay? So if you have a gas, if you have, if you have gasoline uh, and you, you create a spark, it's gonna create a fire and cause that gasoline to burn. But in a nuclear reactor, the spark is basically the neutron. The neutrons are the ones that initiate the reactions. So if you can remove neutrons from the reaction, you halt the reaction, so control rods. Now a secondary system is also used, uh, which is a chemical system, which releases either boron, gadolinium nitrate, different chemical compounds into the reactor itself. These are called poisons. When you poison a reactor, um, it does the same thing as the cadmium. It just absorbs all the neutrons, okay? Uh, and if you want to start the reactor back up, what you do is you slowly filter out these poisons from the system. Okay, so that's, that's the second way to control a reaction. So once you have all that steam, you're spinning turbines, what's next? That is something called cooling towers. It's what you'll see those massive concrete silos which are having this white steam come out. So it's actually not smoke, it's steam. It's just like water coming out, okay? Uh, so in some reactors, you have a cooling tower which, which have these massive concrete silos, but then you also have other uh, reactor stations close to large bodies of water like lakes, oceans. And what they do is they condense the steam to water and they use these large bodies of water as a heat sink, okay? So don't worry, this is not radioactive water that's killing fishes. 
It's just pure, clean H2O from the lake that's used to cool down, that's used as a heat sink, okay? So similar to the, the cooling towers, which are releasing steam, or another types of reactors, which are simply using uh, large bodies of water as a lake, both are very, very safe. All right, so there you have it. That's how a nuclear reactor works. Uh, similar to a kettle, it's used to boil water, produce steam, and create clean energy. All right, so the three core principles of operating a nuclear power plant is pretty much the golden rule. Control, cool, and contain. Control the reaction, keep the fuel cool, and contain any radioactive material. Uh, you have different designs, uh, right? But they all have the same operating logic. You have fuel, um, which is used to boil water in a pressure vessel, okay? Then you have steam generators, which produce steam, and that steam goes through these turbines, like windmills, create electricity. Reactors are controlled by control rods, okay? Which absorb neutrons and also chemical poisons, okay? So that's kind of the brake and the accelerator of a reactor. And lastly, con condensation. This water or steam is condensed into heat sinks, uh, such as large bodies of water or simply our atmosphere, which comes out as pure steam. Uh, that's how a nuclear reactor works. Uh, it's a very efficient, safe, clean process of creating clean energy. Um, there's a lot of benefits that come with nuclear reactors uh, in terms of the environment, in terms of uh, the economy, and also uh, uh, creating a stable grid for a country. I'll be making sure to make some of these videos in the future. Hope you enjoyed. There you have it. Five minutes. That's how a nuclear reactor works. Thank you so much. Bye.